I'm Dylan Bates coming at you live on behalf of Footbin to bring you a deconstructed guide on how to exploit spaces and gaps just like a pro player does in the AFC 24. This tutorial will be broken down into three complete segments. It's spotting the gaps and spaces in the AFC. It's exploiting them with particular speed boosts. And the third segment will indeed be how to perform those speed boosts, including the step over speed boost and R1 dribble. First up, spotting the gaps and spaces. You see, with this year and how defending is, it can be quite hard to adjust and adapt with a defender when it comes to jockeying. And I'm sure you've experienced this before. When you attempt to turn and catch up with an attacker running in behind, you've probably noticed it will take so long for your defender to turn around and adjust to that attacker. Well, when it comes to attacking, we need to use this to our advantage. And if you spot any single gap or space in between two defenders, this is usually a good opportunity for you guys to exploit that space and burst into it with a particular speed boost. Now in terms of speed boosts that we should be using in these certain situations, I'm gonna list them. They include the step over speed boost, they include R1 dribbling, and last but not least, they include the knock-on technique with the right stick. First up, the step over speed boost. Now to perform this particular speed boost, you're wanting to take the right analog stick of your controller and entering to the front of where the player is facing. So that would be a 12 o'clock angle. You're then wanting to rotate around either clockwise or anti-clockwise around to the side of where the player is facing on the pitch. And he will perform a step over. Now with the step over, you can exit out in any direction with the left stick. But to actually execute the speed boost, you're wanting to point completely straight forwards in the same direction to where your attacker is facing. And as he steps over, you're wanting to hold in R2. And with this, it will activate a speed boost where on the second touch, the player gets a boost past the defender. And it is a very effective skill move for bursting in between these particular gaps when it comes to exploiting spaces in EAFC 24. Secondly, we have R1 dribbling. Now, why this is so effective is because we can use these spaces and gaps to our advantage to burst into them, but at the same time, we're keeping the ball in close tight to us to ensure that we have control of the ball. Because as we know, when we sprint, the touch is way too large. And what this causes us to do is lose the ball in EAFC. But with R1 dribbling, we have a lot more control. And what you will need to do is hold in R1 as you see that space and gap. And if a defender slightly approaches you, you can roll away. It's a rolling motion so that you can then continue taking the ball away from him whilst protecting it and keeping your shoulder and back to the approaching defender and burst through that gap or space. It's a very effective technique to burst in between the gaps that we spoke of before whilst keeping the ball tight into you and keeping control. Last but not least, we have the knock-on technique. Now, if there is a significant gap or space in between that defensive line when it comes to you building up and getting the ball into that striker of yours, then the knock-on technique can work. And if you see that gap or space, flick the right end lot stick whilst holding R2 into that gap or space to burst into it. This will give you a boost off the back of turning the defender and it will allow you to burst in between the gap or space that is available when you're turning with that attacker. You're gonna see pro players do this every single time when it comes to their attack. If there is a slight gap or space, they will burst into it with either three of these techniques. And if I'm honest, you guys should start doing this too to exploit gaps and spaces and keep your opponent on the back foot.